Today we're going to check out the Kodak Stop, which is pretty much an exact replica of the HP Sprocket. The only problem, I mean, like exactly, like this cost $75.41 after um, taxes. This cost exactly the same. The only difference is this one, I, I mean, I love it. It uses that zinc paper where there's no ink. I guess it just heats up and it becomes colorful. Like, hold on, let me show you like this color cover it looks like beautiful the only problem is this works like 10 percent of the time and when i say it doesn't work it just won't freaking turn on like i reset it and i know what you're thinking like did i not charge it correctly like it's charged directly like i plugged it directly into the wall and it's been sitting there for like days and it just won't turn on it's so annoying i can't even tell you how frustrating it is so i thought i would try out the kodak step which I believe works exactly the same way. It uses the zinc paper. It's a two by three. And hopefully it is more reliable than the HP Sprocket, which again, the greatest printer in the world, it doesn't matter how awesome it is if it won't turn on, right? So like, who cares how great it is if it is dead? Um, and this does look a little nicer. So it's a little, it's like more polished. This, I don't know why this like pattern just looks cheap and tacky. And so this is the latest one. Like there, I looked, they have older models that are super cute that are like red and vibrant looking like with a matte color and like a silver gold line across it. Those are the older ones and they cost literally twice as much, I think, because they look nicer. Um, I suspect we're going to have to charge this. So I'm going to charge this up. What's in here? We got some pages in here. I have paper, so we don't have to open that. Um, and we have the quick start guide, which I suspect it works exactly the same. You probably just lift it up, put paper in, power it on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, so you pair it. Okay, so now we have to download the app. So I am recording this on my phone, so I'll have to turn it off, charge this, and we'll come right back and test it out. All right, the print time is exactly the same between both of these. I sent the same photo to both of them to test it out. Um, so here's cute little Lucky. And yeah, this is the Kodak one. This is the HP Sprocket one. So Kodak had this cool feature where you could put borders around it. I guess if that's something you want. Is that important to me? Probably not. <laughs> uh, but it was a cute feature. I didn't hate it. Uh, but as far as the quality of the two photos, they're pretty much exactly the same. I would say the Kodak one is actually lower in quality. Um, so let's just hold on to that for a minute. Here are some covers that I'm trying out. Um, so I would say that the Kodak one is brighter uh, but this HP Sprocket is truer to color. So this looks like a green and an orange almost, but the real color on my computer is more of this blue and red color. And then over here, we have another type of cover. In fact, you could let me know which cover you like better between um, all of these. But this one is the Kodak one, and it actually turned out okay, but the HP Sprocket one, again, is truer to color. I don't know why. The Kodak one seems to make all of my blues a green, and the HP Sprocket leaves them blue. So even though I do want to switch over because this one, not only did this already come fully charged, uh, it seems more reliable, but this one just has better colors. And sizing things on this was way more difficult. So you can see over here, there's like a white edge. I don't know if you can see that at the top. And that's because I wasn't able to really size it correctly on their app. But then over here, you can see it's cut off on the right and the left and it didn't get cut off here. So bottom line is they are both uh, like they have issues. So <laughs> I'm not really sure which one. I mean, obviously this one just looks better. Um, this one, I'd have to accept that everything's always going to be green. And I don't know if I want to accept that. So <laughs> I think I'm going to end up returning this, even though it wasn't perfect. Um, maybe I will try out the Canon Ivy, uh, which I think they stopped making. So um, it's a little kitty hair. Uh, so yeah, but this one was pretty good. I mean, to, to fill it up, you just open this up. It was pretty easy. And um, had a power button here on the side. And again, it just feels nicer, like, and it looks nicer than the other one, but the photos aren't as good. So HP Sprocket is still the winner so far, but I will be trying out the Canon Ivy. Mm -hmm. 